Hey guys, Caleb here with Unique Squared. Today we're going to be doing a quick walkthrough of Isotope's latest and greatest plugin, Vocal Synth. Uh, Vocal Synth is a cool little plugin that allows you to apply a bunch of different crazy effects as subtle or as extreme as you like. Um, so first, we got Mika actually in the studio today. She's going to lay down a quick vocal track for us. And then we're going to dive in and see what all we can do with it. In the darkness before the dawn Leave a light, a light on All right, so we've got a recording here from Mika. Let's go ahead and give it a quick listen. In the dark. Only thing we've done so far is we added a little bit of compression just to clean things up. The We're gonna go Leave ahead. A light, oh, nice. a light on. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and load up vocal synth on this track. Grab the audio unit here and select mono. So I'm going to give you a real quick run through of what this thing is and what all it does. Up top, you've got your auto-tune sort of pitch correction section. Uh, you can do it by key or by custom scale. Um, and you have a high, mid, and low vocal ranges as well as the parameters for those controls. Over on the right, you've got your global section, which is your dry wet for the entire effect as well as master output. Uh, we've got four different vocal engines here that are all blended with these faders here in the center <coughs> as well as a dry fader for the clean signal. And then down below, we've got a, a little signal chain of uh, different effects, a distortion filter, transform, which kind of gives you a bunch of weird sort of like radio sounds or like bullhorn sounds. Uh, we've also got a shred, which is basically like a slicer and a delay. So let's go ahead and load up a preset and see what we get here. I'm going to grab extra substance. Cool. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off pitch correction for now. And let's hear <coughs> just what the standard preset sounds like. Turn a loop on. In the darkness before Pretty cool, the huh? Dawn. Now you can see from our faders here that you're hearing predominantly the polyvox and a little bit of vocoder, and these other two modules are currently turned off. <clears throat> so let's listen to each one at a time. Right now we're only hearing the polyvox. In the darkness before the dawn. You can hear what kind of effects you can get out of that. Next, we've got the vocoder, and you'll notice the vocoder actually has its own little drop-down menu of presets. Um, we're currently working on, let's see, uh, Soft Wonder. We'll check that out. Now, the vocoder itself does accept incoming MIDI, and you can play it just like any other vocoder you've ever used. Let's go ahead and check out the next guy. Uh, now, you see this is grayed out right now. I can't select it. Turn the power on for this module, and now you can move it up and down. CompuVox is going to give you sort of that, that bit crushing, computery sort of sound. Check it out. In the Sounds like an old school Apple computer. The dawn. The nice. And last but not least, we've got a talk box, uh, just like the, the pedals and with the hose that you've used before. Um, we got all kinds of cool talk box sounds. Let's try this guy out. In the darkness before the dawn. Now above, above our single faders here, <coughs> we've got voices. So you can add in harmony up to three voices. So let's say uh, we actually have a unison going on right now. Let's say we can do three semitones above and control the volume of that voice up to three different times. Uh, now, let's go ahead and check out. Now we know our way around. Let's check out some presets. This one we've got going on right now is actually pretty standard. It's, you know, it's relatively tame compared to some of the ones we got going on in here. The dawn. Got a cool like, sort of doubling effect, but let's check out something a little bit more extreme. Go into the monster section. Let's see what a gravel drop sounds like. Pretty crazy. We got here. How about a uh, uh, machine drain? One other thing we can show you here we've also got a built in XY grid. You can assign whatever parameter you like here to the X and the Y. So let's go ahead and assign, uh, well, I don't know, how about vocorder shift. And uh, CompuVox bits. 
You can see those parameters change on screen as I move around the XY. So overall, very, very straightforward plugin, super effective. You can get a lot of crazy different sounds. You can get that, that sort of Daft Punk sound or that image and heap stacked vocal chords, all kinds of really great sort of iconic vocal order and weird electronic vocal effects. Um, you know, this has been a huge groundbreaking thing for Isotope and a lot of people are just ditching all their vocal orders and, and going straight for a vocal synth. I hope you enjoyed the walk around. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. All right, guys, that was our real quick run through of Isotope's latest vocal synth. I hope it was useful. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to throw those in the comment section below. We do currently have this plugin on sale right now for $149. You can find a link to our website below. Um, please feel free to find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you have any questions, hit us up. This is Caleb from Unique Squared. Thanks.